Oh, my AC is on high. It's making a loud ass noise. I'm gonna turn it down for a minute. Maybe it was feeling good as fuck. It's still feeling good. I got on low. I don't know. I don't know. I got a little rant I was gonna talk about. I was thinking about. I don't know. Away from back to the stash. I don't know if it's like. This last delivery I took, well, not this last one, but the one before this, it's like, it says on the ticket, ordered by a restaurant, and then it says, this much amount, if you deliver it early, you get $2 extra. I'm like, okay, I'll go get it, you know. It's a pretty big damn order, you know, like 200 and something dollars, right? And when I got to, got to you know, when I, when I was about to accept it, it said $11 and something, and if you get there on time, you get two dollars extra, and I'm like, okay. So I, when I go, uh, you know, after I deliver the shit, I don't get no tip. I'm just like, what the fuck, you know? It says customer tips later, you know. And I'm thinking the customer is 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 a store, you know, because they put the order in through their uh, website or whatever. But I don't know if they keep the tip, and then they just like get DoorDash drivers to deliver their bullshit for like, you know. Ten dollars or thirteen bucks if you get there on time. You know it's bullshit, man. I'm like, where's my big tip? You know, I figure I get you know fifteen, ten percent on this. You know, it's a two hundred and thirty dollar order. I had to put two of my catering bags and walk it in here and take extra time and get get the shit you know you know done for them and shit. And I'm like, where's my extra tip? You know, zero. I kind of wonder on these kind of like places where they have their own little ordering site on their like burger king i get burger king orders like that all the damn time but i never known burger king to rip me off you know so i keep on going to burger king because they're pretty fast about putting their orders out you know they they start making the order once you get there there's quite a few places like that like steak and shake i haven't got a steak and shake order in a while because i usually just turn them down anyways So I don't want to go there, man. They're so ghetto. Country bumpkins and, and the damn drive through. Looks like they've been working there fucking 10 years. I'm like, oh. <laughs> ain't nobody new. Well, I wonder if some of these sites like Krispy Kreme, McDonald's, they got their own little website that says, order and DoorDash deliver it for you. And you order it through their website, and then they might keep your shit. I don't know if they do or don't. I'm just wondering if any other drivers are out there, like, wondering if, if uh... It's like this one place over by Wingstops in Huntsville. I'll cut, kill what it's called. It's called, like, they want you to deliver fucking balloons and, and fucking brew and chocolates and shit. And, and I wonder sometimes, because I never get a fucking tip from them motherfuckers. All I get is a fucking flat rate. Most of the time it's, like, from... Six ninety five to eight ninety five, and it's like never a fucking tip on it. He's like, you take it to the door, and the customer like nowadays like leave it there, and only want no contact, giving them a cash tip. I'm like fuck this shit. That's why every time I see an order from them, I'm like I turn that shit down. I don't know fucking fruit basket in my car and a bunch of fucking balloons that fucking blindside me when I'm going down the road where the lights fucking flashing off and shit. <laughs> Fucking taking up half my window. All up my... You know, I was like, you never know, man. You might get an order from them. They might say four items. And the next thing you know, your fucking front seat's filled up full of shit. For fucking eight ninety five, No tip. Every time. You're like, what the fuck? I'm on Paul's dash right now. Let's head back to the store. Any store that fucking... Give me an order for more than ten bucks or eight bucks. I quit taking these damn six dollar deliveries unless it's like two miles or something. And sometimes that's a hassle, man. It's like I tried to do one of those two miles the other day, and you get there, and then motherfucker like, "Hey, cancel their order," and I'm like, "Oh, real?" And I'm sitting here thinking, "There goes my my completion rate going down because you can't get hold DoorDash customer support for nothing." Yeah, I notice when I do these videos, I don't get notifications from DoorDash, so that's why I get my, my order on pause right now. But 
But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop stuff in order to where I see it. I see it's like six bucks and it's like that catering place and shit. Cause they think, I don't want you to go 10 miles for that shit. I'm like, they don't want to do that shit themselves. That's why they're using DoorDash. You see that little van running around all the time in, in Huntsville, and you never see them. They were probably delivering something like two miles down the road, and then they all set all their fucking long ass deliveries on DoorDash for cheap. And they keep the tip. Fuckers. It ain't right. It ain't right. Like I said, it ain't right. I'm gonna end this video. I pushed the wrong button.